Insecurity and terrorism have been major challenges to the Nigerian government in recent times. But the recent killings in the village in Wase Plateau State and that of the Guma local government and Turchi community in Tarka in Benue State have elicited grave reactions from federal lawmakers in the Green Chamber, following motions brought by Honorable Yusuf Gagdi from Plateau and Bem Nzondo from Benue State. Nigerians are being killed on daily basis, Mr. Speaker. The four angles of Nigeria, nowhere is safe. Mr. Speaker, what is beating my imagination more, aside of the killing, is who is responsible. Why must we be chased out of our lands? Benue people are known to farm. As we speak, my people cannot go to farm. Hunger crisis is on the way. What again do we need to do? My governor has always been crying. The legislators from Benue have always been crying. Our senators are crying. Everybody in Benue is crying. What more does Benue need to do? We need to survive. The executive headed by Mr. President must know that Benue, our lives matter. Even when we raise the motion, it's sufficient for the security to act. But the other man, among the people that were arrested at the local committee who are their own informants and collaborators, one was communicating with them from the detention camp, communicating to the committee, and assuring people that were going to go out. And at the end of the day, he got out. When he got out, his wife was arrested with drugs. I don't know how, how to explain. The federal lawmakers call for the resignations of the National Security Advisor for his failure to detect the several killings before they are carried out. They also blame members of the various House Security Other Committees who have countlessly failed to submit reports to the House. Until we stop thinking that everything has political coloration, we're not going to get anywhere. Because we have, we have very well-trained personnel, security personnel. Why is the terrorist why have they sort of like overcome the Nigerian security, security personnel? That is what we need to ask ourselves. And the president innocently will act on the advice of the national security advisor. So where you maintain somebody who cannot be able to see outside the box or who believes in one particular tradition, I don't think we are going to get it correct. My submission is very simple. If the president means well to this country, and if we are really trying to look for a solution, he has to immediately sack the national security advisor. Play the blame game now. It is a bit late in the day. We should put our, all our hands on deck to ensure that Nigeria moves forward and that security is installed once again. They say the federal government must act decisively to save the country as Nigerians are daily living in fear despite having a government in place to protect them. Let's see the breakfast and plus TV Africa. We have Yahuza Getzer who joins the conversation this morning as we look on the attacks on Nigerian communities uh, with the recent one in Plateau amongst all the communities in all the states. It's no longer news. Yahuza Getzer, it's good to have you join us this morning. Yeah, good morning. How are you? Right. So um, you have this lawmaker's sounding very helpless. I mean, it looks like they have done all that they can do, and they are right, rather asking that they be sacked of uh, the NSA chief. Also, on the other hand, you have the federal government saying that they are going to unveil those who are behind these attacks, uh, that of the Plateau State and also uh, that of the Kaduna uh, attack. But I'd like to ask you, what, what does this really mean for us? And what do you make of all of this? How, where do we go from here? Because looking at that report and watching these lawmakers, it feels like it's, it's a helpless situation. Well, uh, thank you very much for uh, the, the, the listeners and viewers. But I, w I want to tell you that uh, the members of the National Assembly or the Green Chamber are not really serious and they are not sincere and they are not honest. And um, I, I think I put a lot of uh, blame, a part of the a portion, a portion of the blame on them, 
because it's, it's, you, you, nobody can tell me that they were helpless, they have not done A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Because they have not done really what they're supposed to do. They will have impeached the president, not even to talk about uh, 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 asking the National Security Advisor to go. What have they been doing in the last seven years? Hundreds of and thousands of people have, have been killed and are being killed on daily basis. They are collecting uh, their own ransom uh, or whatever. They are collecting their own allowances. They are sitting at Abuja and they have been providing security and safety for only their parents, their girlfriends, their immediate families. They have not been sincere and honest for the issue of security of Nigeria. They have never called or have or never do anything in respect to sending even an ordinary threat to the president for impeachment, impeachment notice. They are not sincere, they are not honest. When we look at the a part of the federal government saying that uh, they are going to unveil uh, those behind the attack, do you even have government in Nigeria? That's my question. Because in a situation where people are being killed on daily basis, you have a lot of ungoverned places, you have a lot of ungoverned spaces in the, in the geographical territory. When you have a sovereign state and you still have a non-state actor doing what they want, doing it the way they want, doing it how they want, and they have the capacity and capability to kind of um, uh, uh, overpower our uh, security, the formal security of the country, it is really a great shame and embarrassment. And that is an exhibition of the competency of Buhari administration. I quite disagree with the federal government that they are going to on them. This is the word they have been using in the last seven years since they come into power. Nobody will trust them, nobody will listen to them, and no responsible person will agree with what the federal government is saying. How many have they on them? Have they unveiled the killing in Sokoto where even a pregnant mother was born today? Have they unveiled killing in many parts of the forest uh, and uh, uh, Bedouin state that happened before? Have they unveiled the many killings that happened in part of the Templato state? What have they been doing in respect to the killing taking place in part of Kaduna and uh, part of uh, Niger state and other part of uh, uh, North Central state? And what have they been doing? for a number of killings that have been taking place in the South, South, and South. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. And that is a show or exhibition of incompetency, and it clearly states that we don't have government in Nigeria. Because if we have a responsible government, even if we have the government, it's not a responsible government. It's not honest government. It's not sincere government. It's not government that really have passion and compassion and really interested in providing part of its a cardinal mandate and cardinal responsibility uh, for ensuring that it provides security for life and, uh, and, and safety uh, of property of Nigerians that uh, uh, have voted it, uh, into the power. Yahuza, you have said indeed a lot. Uh, you have actually talked about uh, you know, the House of um, Reps, uh, you know, the members are not actually um, out, um, out of on this particular issue because they are part of government. You know, so for them calling for uh, security, uh, uh, the NSA and other security chiefs to be sacked, I know some people might say that it does not actually sort out all the problem, but you have not just said that um, the government has failed us. If the government has failed us now, so what should the average man, you know, in the Plateau State be doing from reports that over 100, you know, were killed over the weekend? And just yesterday in Zamfara State, um, five female students were abducted from the, you know, health science school. And uh, even the bandits are even threatening to marry one of them. If government is failing uh, the citizenry, what alternative does the citizenry have? You know... What we have been, what I have been saying for a quite number of years, for over 13 years, I have been discussing this. Not only you, even and when Buhari government come into power, I have been talking about it, and I have been providing them free intelligence service. The bandits in Zamfara, the bandits in Sokoto, the bandits in Kaduna, the bandits in Niger, and those countries who are committing these offenses in Plato, Venue, and other places, they are known. Their locations are known. 
Their finances are known. This has been affirmed by the federal government itself. And this has been affirmed by many other provincial officials of the government, including some of the governors, uh, when you take uh, National Army, Air Fire, and others. So if we have all this information, and the DSS, the military, the civil defense, the police, and so on and so forth, have been on ground doing what? So calling on the security chiefs to resign, for me, is on court, but that is not the way forward. The government knew the way forward. Let them fight. They should not that to ask them to resign. They should be sacked and dealt with accordingly. Because they know where these criminals are. They know who are these criminals. But they refuse to do what they need for. So people cannot just stay at Abuja and be given instructions anyhow. We have made it very clear that these bandits are known. Their locations are known. Their hideouts are not, if at all, there is anywhere where, where you can hide. Where are the thick forests that a Nigerian military cannot go into and deal with these guys decisively? And what action have the government ever taken in respect to responding to the, uh, 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 to, to, to the commanding officers? Unit commanders, brigade commanders, platoon commanders, as well as other commanders that have been operating in respect to dealing with this situation over the years. We cannot be touching. This country is, is, is really in mess. It's really in mess. And those elders from northern part of the country, those who call themselves elders, they ask for president resignation. I All right, um, 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 Yawuzo yeah, Getso, um, there's been a peace and advocacy uh, movement or visit to this bandit, and we know that you know, the Northern uh, group have actually condemned this action. But uh, tell us really, uh, how effective do you think that this advocacy visit, I mean, the fact that there's been this visit to these bandits to ensure that uh, uh, we have some peace and tranquility in our communities. Uh, but it feels like we constantly still have these attacks. And can you tell us why we're not having peace despite all of these measures that are being put out? The simple reason why we are not having peace is because we don't have a serious government. We don't have That's what? All. We so don't have, have a serious, serious government. government. We have a very weak government. We have a very incompetent government in power. We have a very a, a government that have no iota of not ready to understand, not ready to conduct a root cause analysis to understand they undermine the capability of these criminals. And they undermine so, their so, are own you saying that the peace and advocacy visit that's been put out by, of course, it would be the initiative of the government, is, 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 is nonsense because that's also an effort from government. You don't expect the citizens of the country to go out to face the guys with AK 47 when they don't have even a, a good knife to, uh, to cut onion. How, what, do, what will you do? It is the government that's supposed to coordinate. And trillions of money have been squandered in the names of providing security. Trillions of money have been uh, uh, borrowed. Now Nigeria is indebted to how many trillions in the name of fighting security? And where is the security? Nowhere is safe in Nigeria, including Abuja itself. All right, thank you so much. Uh, we have been speaking with Yahuza Getso. He is a security analyst, and we have been analyzing all of the issues and the attacks uh, on the uh, plateau community and, of course, uh, what happened uh, in Zamfara State uh, yesterday. Many thanks uh, once again, Yahuza. Thank you. All right, indeed, that's the size of the conversation for this morning. Uh, we'll return again tomorrow for the Friday edition. Uh, we trust you'll join us then. My name is Justin Akadonye. All right, um, but just, just before then, uh, what do you even think about the mass barrel that happened? The mass barrel, it is indeed sad uh, for the government to be burying people all together in one group. I, I just feel it is not something that uh, should be happening right now. And those people, it's like they don't have families that could identify them or something. 
was really sad, but that's so much that we can take at this point on The Breakfast. We'll definitely return tomorrow with more uh, interesting conversation. If you missed out on any part of it, it's okay to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And do or subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Many thanks for watching. I am Messi Boko. Have a fantastic day.